Tonight, flu fear is still high all across the Carolinas. Flu season hasn't even peaked yet, but doctors are already warning of a possible double dip. A second round of the virus that could hit sometime in March. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg explains the flu, as we know, already very bad. As this brutal flu season shows no sign of slowing, communities are desperately trying to fight back. Personally, I am very worried. Kay Corrigan came to this clinic for flu shots. It's one of many around the country now giving them out for free. Even churches are not immune. Archdiocese are suspending part of the sacrament so parishioners won't have to drink from the same cup. I ask the Lord every day to, to bless me and keep me healthy. But the toll keeps growing. See how quiet it is? Brenda Okipentes is grieving for her 12-year-old son, Carlos. He had a fever of 103 and died just two days later in her arms. Her message to other parents, don't wait. Follow your instincts, follow your gut. If you know something's wrong, take action. You should get a shot. Doctors say a flu shot is the best way to avoid getting sick, but fewer than half of Americans get vaccinated because they don't think it's worth it. And many people believe that the shot can actually give them the flu. Doctors say that's a myth. Does it give you the flu? No, you may have some reaction to the flu shot. Sometimes people complain of mild flu-like symptoms, but those usually pass in about a day or two at the most. For parents whose kids have a flu shot, can your kids play with other kids that don't have the flu shot? If they're not sick? Of course. How do you protect children who are too young to get vaccinated? The Centers for Disease Control recommends caregivers should get the vaccine and take simple preventative actions, such as frequently washing their hands. Last week, we told you about six-month-old Aliyah, who was in the ICU for 11 days fighting for her life. Good news today, she's recovered. And she's happy to be home, and I'm happy for her to be home.